So today we have two gloves that we're gonna be fixing up and these are actually from you guys. Now, one of these is actually in really, really good condition while the other one is quite the opposite here. We have a Rawlings Heart of the Hide and a Wilson A2000. Let's fix them up and then also rate the break -in. And by the way, we're using Sarna today, so obviously glove conditioner at the end, but glove cleaner is gonna come in huge because this thing needs a ton of work. Like seriously, the before and after on this glove will turn out great. Sitting here editing, you guys, I just wanna say thank you. You guys rock. Shout out to you specifically, Taj, on Instagram. Uh, big things coming, love you guys. Stay tuned. So this is actually an EL3 model, Evan Longoria. It's third base glove. This is 1175, you get that single post web. I was thinking about switching this out, but we're gonna see if we can just make it work. Guys, the first thing we have to do is just get rid of these trash laces. Okay, so the glove is officially a skeleton. We just need to clean this thing, and a lot. It is very dirty. <laughs> Here's the thing, relacing a glove kind of sucks. It's not that fun. It takes a really long time and it kind of hurts your fingers. But um, here's a time lapse. While I'm relacing the glove, let's actually talk about these. This is the Rawlings Pro TB24, I think it is. Correct, TB24. This is like 2007, 2008, something like that. And then this here is one of my gloves and it's actually from like the same exact time. What is mind boggling is how heavy this glove is, but also just take a look. It's in super good condition. This guy was using this for slow pitch softball. It feels like he wore it too in the pinky. I'm not 100% sure. Just look at that, it's so beautiful. But seriously, so heavy. So here's my glove right here. One pound, seven, eight. And then here we go, here's this one. One eleven one. It is so much heavier, and it's actually because of the product that he used. All right, so the guy who owned this glove was actually using nipple cream. Like, I'm not even joking. Literal breastfeeding nipple cream to oil this glove. As funny as that is, there's just a lot of products out there that would generally work well with leather, but it's not made for baseball gloves, and that's where the problem comes in. The leather just held onto all that product, and now it's like two or three ounces heavier than it was originally. With that being said, I'm gonna clean this thing, and once again, you guys, it is in such good condition. We're just gonna kinda get off some of the dirt and dust on this thing and clean up these logos. By the way, you guys, Sarna finally announced that they're gonna be actually selling the glove cleaner within like the next month or so, and it'll have a cooler logo than this. I've heard from some people that if you want to get rid of some stuff like that, you can actually use some like Goo Gone, just a tiny amount, and it should help. But in this case, we're going to leave it. So yes, this glove is old, but honestly, it's been taken care of so well that it didn't really need much. I hardly did anything. I just cleaned it up and now we need to put conditioner on it. On the other hand, this thing is just amazing. The before and after are just beautiful. Now the blue laces, honestly, obviously, yeah, it makes it pop a little bit. I think it looks good, but lacing up a glove with like natural color laces versus something like this, there's just a huge difference. You know, every glove kind of feels different, so I don't like one more than the other. But in this case, with like the blue logos that are already on the glove, I love this blue. I think it looks really cool. I'm actually excited for the laces to get a little dirty because right now they're like neon compared to the rest of the glove. In a second, we'll actually talk about the shape of this glove, but first, our heart of the hide here just needs a little bit of conditioning. It really doesn't take a lot to spread throughout the entire palm here. Certain leathers will like absorb it way faster than others. And if that's the case, just keep using more as needed, but it's probably easier to use a little bit and then keep adding more rather than dumping it all on at once. So now we have to actually rate the break-ins on these things. So this one, first of all, definitely feels like it was stored like this, because this is an old glove and it hasn't been used for a long time from my understanding. Just look at it. It like molds perfectly to a softball just sitting in here. So the only problem with that, it has like a super narrow opening. Like this is me opening as wide as I can, not super wide. So it kind of just rests like here to here. It's really narrow. It just has a perfect pocket for a softball, as you can see. Yes, the glove is heavy, but honestly, like I could go game this thing, it feels great. So the break-in itself, I have zero complaints. It was broken two in the pinky, thumb to pinky. I have a little bit of complaint because it's super heavy now. So overall, it's a 7.75 out of 10 because it's somewhere in between seven and a half and eight. And then our EL3, this is huge, okay? So the glove is not completely done yet. We have to break our laces in. They're still really stiff because they've just never been used. It makes the glove feel really awkward because everything on this glove is super broken in and then you just have brand new laces. Fingers up here, you can pull on them, just push them around, do whatever you want. Mainly focus on this up here and then your heel as well this is huge too these laces sometimes will feel really big especially if you don't thin them beforehand so mash down on them just to make them feel more flat and out of the way that cross web gives like a ton of room for the ball that's one thing that's extremely noticeable but i can definitely feel it oh yeah yeah on my actual like hand right definitely getting some stingers just from lack of padding I will say 
wonderful pocket. That's just natural. When a glove has been used this much, there's a very deep, very used, very established pocket. With that being said, he's closing this thing like thumb to middle finger here, right? He goes just all fingers in, right? Traditional finger in. One, I kind of hate that break in. I always feel like a weirdo when I wear a glove like that. But when a glove is used this much, it's honestly kind of hard to critique it because you could close this thing any which way you wanted. It's just so flexible, it's so used. When it comes to the actual shape, he sort of flared the thumb here and the pinky goes out, but it kind of comes back in on the tip. Kind of reminds me of like a um, Batbro GT. That was good pop. So I don't know what position this dude plays, but this is a third base glove. So if I were to critique this specifically as a third base model, I just can't go any higher than seven out of 10. And here's why. The glove is actually broken in to use like the web to catch the ball. And I'm never really a big fan of that, especially for infielders. But that's kind of natural because when you have all fingers in like that, that tends to be the way that people shape a glove is so that the web is doing all of the work. Jose Iglesias actually wears a glove like this and he uses his web a ton. The web makes it easy to catch the ball comfortably, but when it comes to like performance at third, it doesn't score so well. That's why we're going seven out of 10. Great for a backup glove, rainy day glove, but that's it. All right, just to be clear, this is a baseball glove that was used for softball. Definitely goes fine either way. Two in the pinky. I mean, it's just fun to catch with this. You can really hardly feel it, especially with how heavy it is. Like I said, I mean, I would totally game this thing like right now in softball. So the only problem with this glove is like, this is kind of how I would just break a glove in. Two hinges, two in the pinky, using it for softball. There's like nothing really wrong with this glove except for the fact that I would open it up more. And it's clearly been like over oiled, so it's really heavy. Other than that, the glove really hasn't been used that much and there's nothing really all that bad to say. By the way, both of these guys are gonna be going home with just a free can of Sarna, as well as this guy here is gonna get a new pair of Ball Glove King shorts that actually haven't been released yet. Sorry, you can't see it. It'll actually go really nicely with these laces.